It's 57 points in 62 games. Yeah, TK Jets the type of deal where it's like, okay, it's not bad, but it could end up being a bit expensive. Just have to make it to the deadline. All right. I'll, uh, I'll hear you on that. These are our targets, though. No doubt. I mean, it's the 15th. The deadline's on the 24th, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Pittsburgh trades Casper uh, Kapanen to New York for a third. Which is pretty ridiculous. And again, thank God we don't have to play right now either. That's helping with these rosters. It's helping me a lot right now. So here we go. As Russia beats Slovakia, 7-1. We are within a week. We'll sim one more day. And then we're going to start making moves. As Thomas Grice has been dealt to the Rangers for a fifth. Man, the Rangers have been involved in so much. Donna, you're not wrong that I really haven't looked at the cap situation for next year. You're not wrong. Expiring deals include a lot of players. Gustafson, Stud. Like Ilya Mikheyev, McCann. The big one will be Morgan Riley. The big player here will be Morgan Riley in terms of renewing his contract. Morgan Riley is going to want $9 million bucks a season. Oof. Ah, uh, Crash, it's my pin tweet on Twitter. Dude, we can't trade Morgan Riley. I mean, yeah, I know that we're risking losing him. But, damn. I mean, maybe we could, but he's been incredible. He's legit been our best player. And is on pace to win the Norris. As insane as that is. So that is a very... Very tough decision. Definitely didn't have to, like, half blow my nose there for a second. I think you could do GM Connected on this. Uh, you could, technically. Online leagues are a thing. We are looking at the possibility of having to trade Morgan Riley or pay him Eric Carlson money, which he's worth it. Holtby, I'm cool with letting go of after the season because we ended up with Vassy. So you could argue to use uh, Braden Holtby as well. Yeah, we ha we have some uh, we have some decisions to make. First and foremost, to the short list, top player we'd be interested in targeting is Sasha Barkov. You know, he's been the best performer. Out of anybody that I could uh, see them getting rid of. And obviously trading Morgan Riley would suck. I'm willing to pay Morgan, you know, Morgan Riley nine million bucks. I am willing to do that. We might end up losing Eckholm, which would suck. But it could be done. Um, Joey Keane's half decent at this point. Again, right now we can't really afford to get rid of forwards. But I could afford to get rid of Braden Holpe. I just wonder what the final price would be. Holpe's using his no trade. We're not going to get anything for Holpe. At least he doesn't want to go to Florida. Now, for defensemen, by the way, we do have to get rid of McDonough, Letty, or Graves. I'm not sure who our worst performing defenseman's been. It's been Graves. He's been good defensively, but all around, he's been bad. So we're going to try to trade uh, Ryan Graves here because we, we can't afford to have that much money taking up our, uh, you know, can't afford to have that much money being taken up for nothing. So let's again go back to Barkov. I obviously don't think this would happen, but a Barkov, William Carlson, 1-2 would be incredible. Uh, where is... Ryan Graves. Alright, they'd be below the floor, so retain 50. I'm 
McDonough is still injured, correct. Ottinger is uh, unhappy. He wants to be in the NHL, so if we could trade Holpe, that would cheer him up. Let's see here. And I have some big-time prospects coming through as well. So, I mean, let's just say we were to use Logan Hutzko. Let's just say we were to use even Clem Costin, who's been terrible at the NHL level. Grant Mismash. I think Barkoff's going to be Crash. I'd love you if you did. Thank you. Um, as much as I want to get Barkoff, his value is going to be too high. You know, that there's no budget option for Barkoff at this stage. He's just worth too much. Like, I can throw in Thomas Bordlow, and they still wouldn't accept. So someone of Barkoff's caliber isn't going to happen. So we know Barkoff's out. Just too expensive. Way, way too expensive. Trade one of your worst prospects like me, Casper. Eh. So next up is whether or not a four-star guy can be dealt. And that brings us to Jonathan Huberto. And we might still have some trouble getting a deal like this done. But let's go ahead and again use Ryan Graves. Um, I don't necessarily think they'd be willing to retain. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a weird one. Florida's just in a weird spot anyway with their cap. Uh, Miss Mash, what about costing? Be below the cap floor. If I had them retain, we can't add this much salary. Florida's just a bust. Florida's just a bust. Um, anybody on Florida, we're removing. And the last one's Huberto. So Huberto and Barkoff aren't going to happen. Florida's just a nightmare to try to negotiate with. So our next three targets are Ovechkin, Couturier, and Giroux. Ovi has signed an extension with New Jersey. Seven million next year. I mean, it's tough to say that we shouldn't go for Ovi. <laughs> Ovi, Couturier, and uh, technically Lindholm's in there too. And relying on a 36 year old is rough, but it is Alex Ovechkin. Could we get a deal done to bring in Alex Ovechkin is the question. Let's see, Ryan Graves. They don't want to move Ovi. Okay, Ovi's not uh, acquirable here. So that brings us down to Sean Couturier as our next best option in terms of overall performance this season. He's on an expiring deal. Which, I mean, obviously, then, if you're talking about players on expiring deals, you know, you're going to want more of, like, the, the budget option, like a Gurionov at this point, a Bergeron, Nick Suzuki, Jake Vertanen. <sighs> but we still got to look to see if we could get someone like Couturier. We might as well do our due diligence here. We're going to work our way through this list. See what we can get. So we want Ryan Graves as the first option. I mean, the big question then would be what the hell is Couturier going to look for for an extension? Holtby is willing to be dealt to Philly, by the way. So Graves and Holtby, decent amount of cap that we're shedding here, too. And what if we were to also use Logan Hutzko? No, we're going to need someone better than Logan Hutzko. So I think Couturier is just out of reach. Couturier is too much, unless we dip into giving up more valuable assets, which means four-star players are out. So Couturier is out, Brad Marchand's out, Anthony Mantha, Claude Giroux, and Tomas Hurdle. So now the list is down to this group in which Elias Lindholm is our best option. Also, the Bruins have Bergeron on their trade block. I think we're going to end up with Patrice Bergeron here, guys. 
first and foremost, Elias Lindholm. Now, they did bring in Lindholm recently, so they might not want to get rid of him. Okay, maybe not. They might actually want to. Holt B, are you willing to go to L.A.? No. Maybe he'll be willing to go to Boston. He, I mean, he owned that city for about five years anyway. Uh, let's use Mismash. Costing. Ooh, still an expensive deal. It looks like we're going to have to go for the budget options. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's looking like we got to go for the budget options here. Because otherwise, yeah, we got to give up a little bit more than I'm willing to give up. So at least me know. Uh, Lindholm is out. Forsberg is out. Horvat and Zabanajad. Jake Vertanen is also on the trade block. Let's get that deal done. Jake Vertanen. He's going to be our target here. Ryan Graves is immediately a well-balanced option. Holtby would be willing to go back to Vancouver. But good old Bim says they can't add that much. Can they take on Marc-Andre Gragnani and Miko Lettinen? I do love Gragnani, though. Let me give up Lettinen. And go to player rights. What about Van Colster? I really don't want to do it, but what about Huckins? Man, Huckins is near enough. Okay. So Graves, Lettinen, a sixth, and a seventh. Still not enough. What about another sixth? Okay. So it's going to be Ryan Graves, Miko Lettinen, two sixths and a seventh for Jake Vertanen. And a move that clears out a little bit of cap and gets us a much needed forward. That way Graves isn't an overpaid seventh defenseman. They'd be below the cap floor. What if you retain on Vertanen? They'd actually be below the cap floor. How? I don't understand how. Doesn't make sense. How would they be below the cap floor? Okay, then can you take on Braden Holtby as well? They're saying they can't afford to add that much salary. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oops. Not that I also want to give up Holtby in this deal, but... Do what we gotta do. Fanboy! The man was a fanboy! Goddamn Wooly, thank you for the 18, buddy. So let's see, it's Graves, Holpe, for Jake Vertanen. So we retain 50% on Holpe, they retain 10% on Vertanen. Just bizarre. Let me give him a sixth. Can I have it be a seventh? So Graves, Holpe, and a seventh for Jake Vertanen. I don't know what Vancouver's doing with the cap floor here. I have no idea what the hell they're doing. Sorry, Vancouver. I'm out on this. I'm not I'm not dicking around. So we're out on Jake for Tannen as well. That leaves us with this group. Patrice Bergeron. It's sacrilege, but they're trying to trade him. I might as well see if I can get Bergie here to boost up the team. They'd be below the cap floor. So here, just go ahead and retain 50. Uh, also take Braden Holpe, who doesn't want to go to Boston. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I don't understand Boston's situation here, then. Be below the cap floor. If they try to take on Bergeron, they need salary back in return. I really don't have any way to give them salary other than Holtby, who I can't get rid of. Aside from maybe like Andreas Janssen. I mean, maybe it is a glitch because of the Olympics. Oh, man. 
customers can't have this much salary. Yeah, it might it might be glitched because of the Olympics here. I think we're out on Bergeron too. Problem is, man, the Olympics aren't going to end uh, in time for me to pull the stuff off. The Olympics might be glitching this out. So I'm going to guess any team with an Olympian, we can't do anything. Although, let's try the two-for-one special here. Let's try Bergeron and Tabrask. Bergeron is using his no-trade clause. Bergeron doesn't want to come here. Bergeron just outright said I'm not coming here. Okay, then. So no Bergeron, no Debrusk. Next up. Let's go for Nick Suzuki, man. Let's try it. Let's go for Nick Suzuki. Ryan Graves is first up. Holt B will not go to Montreal. Can we use here? Mismash. Let's use Gustafson. So Graves, Mismash, and Gustafson. It's a lot to give up for Suzuki, but he's been a better performer. Sixth and a seventh wasn't enough. Fourth and a sixth isn't enough. So Graves, Mismash, Gustafson, and two fourths for Nick Suzuki. They'd apparently be below the cap floor. Which makes no goddamn sense. Yeah, man, this might be glitched because of the Olympics, which means I'm fucked. But the deal with Latang went through. So I'm very confused. Like, tremendously confused. Alright, I can't get Suzuki either. We have almost, you know, we have almost exhausted all of our options here off this damn list. Let's look at Dallas with Radulov and Gurionov. See if we can pull off the double here. Yeah, something feels like it's not uh, working appropriately. So Radulov and Gurionov, if we can pull off the the double sweep here. Holpi is cool with being traded. Graves is as well. 50% on Radulov. Now they're saying they're to the floor. So Holpe and Graves for Radulov on 50 and Gurionov. And who can we give up? I mean, maybe, don't know who's to say. Price is an Olympian. I mean, yeah, if a team has an Olympian, it might be glitching it. If I use Logan Hutsko, Grant Mismash. Klum costume. Take out Hutzko. I had a feeling that would still go through. Take out Mismash. So Holpe, Graves, Costin, and a sixth for Radulov and Gurionov. They'd be below the floor, apparently. Yeah, man, there's a brutal glitch going on right now. There is a brutal glitch going on right now. Unless it's me. But that's always normally Dallas, right? No, because the floor is 60 and I'm at 62. So it's impossible for me to be below the floor if I'm adding more cap. I don't understand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's just say 13. And. 14. Well, it's going to be very unfortunate if that was the case and I just took a shitload of people off of the shortlist when I didn't have to. Let's try one more time now. Let's try again. Alright, cool. It loaded it right back. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know what I can do. So Dallas would be below the cap floor. What's the proper number here on Gurionov?
Yeah, I don't know what I can do here. Because <sighs> they're apparently... It, there's got to be a glitch with the Olympics. So like, the math here is so incredibly close. I think it's one or the other. Even though it said something about the cap, I hit offer, and it went through. Oh, good for you! Phil, thank you for the follow. Um, okay. Let's go talk to the Florida Panthers about Sasha Barkov. Because we might still be able to get him. I'm very confused. We know that Barkoff or Huberto were one of our top two targets, no matter what, without me having to go back through. Can I get Sasha Barkoff? Despite some weird, weird things going on. He's probably still worth a bit too much. So maybe we do still go for three star guys, like for Tan and Bergeron DeBrusque. He is probably still worth too much, yeah, because Holpe doesn't want to leave. I'm trying to remember all the players I would have taken off of the short list. Yeah, Barkoff is going to be too much anyway. Let's go talk to uh, let's go talk to Boston. I'm trying to remember what are the teams I might have missed. Regardless, Bergeron is using that no trade clause. What about uh, Jake DeBrusque? Boots and Giroux. True. Thank you. Uh, they might be they might be too expensive. Lindholm was another one. Thank you. So hope he doesn't want to go to Boston. They'll never accept. What if you retain on the brusque? Bruins can't add this much salary to the payroll. How about you retain a little bit then? So Graves in the fourth for DeBrusque. Get below the cap floor. If I retain on Graves. <sighs> I don't understand what's going on with this. I think the big move to make right now is we go out with apparently 21 million in cap space and we offer Reed Boucher who I apparently can't offer money to. I have no idea what's happening right now, man. Let's go back to Dallas and see if we can work out this goddamn trade. So it's Holpe, Graves, Costing, and a six for Radulov and Gurionov. It says I can finalize it. Let's just do it. Holpe, Graves, Costing, and a sixth for Radulov and Gurionov. It didn't crash the game. It went through. We have a done deal. Thank fuck. So we're going to call up Ottinger. The defense is now Latang, Riley Geo, Echo McDonough, Letty. We'll have Christian Juice as the seventh. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Which means we can send down Hutzko. And we at least have a roster. So we got those deals done. We brought on a little bit more cap. Uh, it wasn't pretty. We still have other players that we can uh, 
that we could try to get here from this roster. They might not be as high rated as the other guys, but they're all still useful players. All from different teams as well. So obviously you got Nuge on a five-year deal. I'm going to say no to the Nuge. Got Dvorak on a four-year deal. Dezingle on a three. Let's see if I can get Ryan Dezingle. Because in theory, he should be like the cheapest of the bunch. He really should be. Based on game rating, Weiss box not good enough. Could be below the floor apparently. Retain on the Zingle. Apparently St. Louis has like no money. Because <laughs> they'd be below the floor if that trade went through. So I'd have to use like Jared McCann or Andreas Janssen. And now the Blues can't afford to add that much salary to the payroll. Alright, clearly we're not going to work out a deal with St. Louis. For Ryan Dezingle. Let's get him the hell out of there. Let's... How much did Dylan Strom sign for? Five million bucks. No, thank you. Nazem Kadri. Old nifty Nazem here. What can we do to potentially acquire your services? It's the same thing. Can't add that much. Why can't I add that much salary to the payroll? How do I not have space for $2 million worth of salary? What? Available money for free agents is at negative four million. Yet I have eighteen million in cap space. Figure that one out. I need at least two more players for this offense. I need at least two more players. Just for, uh, just for shits and gigs. I bump that up. Am I suddenly safe now? Is that literally just the issue? Yeah, cool. There we go. All I did was just talk to my good friend Jeff at Amazon, and, uh, all of a sudden we're fine. Imagine that. And all of a sudden we're fine. Still kind of wish I didn't take people off the short list, but what are you going to do? Kyle Palmieri. Am I allowed now to bring in Kyle Palmieri? Yeah, Jeff just sent me my allowance. It's fine. It's fine. Use Weissbach. Let's use Gus. Let's use Miss Mash. Stud can stay for the moment. Sixth and the seventh wasn't enough. Fourth and the sixth wasn't enough. Two fourths wasn't enough. Damn. Third and the seventh isn't enough. Third and the sixth is not enough. So it'd be Weisbach, Gustafson, Mismash, a third and a fourth for two years of Kyle Palmieri. So that was the holdup. It's just a slightly lower budget than what it probably should have been. Uh, I'll do this because, in theory, trying to acquire anybody who's even more expensive, we really wouldn't have the assets for it. So let's acquire one Kyle Palmieri as well. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hutsko will be called up. So in theory... One more player would be great, because then we could send Jack down. So can we pull off one more trade? 
That was a rough sneeze. We made it through it, though. We made it through it. Yeah, I don't know what looked like it. it. Looked like we were the ones who sneeze. Not the other teams. Let's go for Nazem Kadri. As our final option here. Or I could go for Vertanen still. I think Couturier, uh, Giroud will be too expensive. Bergeron doesn't want to come here. So yeah, I guess we can check Jake for Tannen again. Especially because he's on the trade block. Can we get a deal done? For one, Jake Vertan. I think Marshawn would be uh, too expensive. Jake, what's going on, buddy? Brad would be uh, too expensive, I think. More than likely, at least. She's lacking in. See, so I'm still getting the same uh, button here about, or the same prompt, I should say. Just don't know if it's true. So the problem is, if we go for like Marchand, DeBrusque, Bergeron. It's going to start getting a little bit more expensive than I think we'd care to pay. Use Jordan Ostele, no trade. Christian Juice, Logan Hutzko. What if we were to use Scott Harrington? Yeah, see, even now, I don't really have the cap space, or they don't have the cap space to pull off the deal for Vertanen. So I don't think it's going to happen. With Jake for Tannen. I don't think even uh, Lindholm would work either. Let's go back and see what we can do with Nazem Kadri. Let's go back and see what we can do with Nazem Kadri. Logan Hutzko. And again, it just looks like they would have the, uh, the cap issue. All right. Our deals, uh, are we on a deal and might be done here? You know, we at least worked out a trade or two, which is nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off anything else. I mean, Jake, I'm enjoying it. There have been some weird things that I don't know if it's like a glitch. Just, yeah, so it's not going to happen at this stage. If I go back to the Kraken's finances, we have the money. Let's uh, let's go check out the free agent list here. So Andy Andreoff, meet demand, drop it to a one-year deal, uh, raise the money by a hundred k. Oops, not by one year. Raise the money by a hundred k. Raise it by another hundred k. So we'll sign Andy Andreoff for nine hundred k. Uh, let's sign Reed Boucher as well. Let's go one year. Raise it by 100k. Sign Reed Boucher as well. Petrus Palmu. We just need depth. Is it better than six? I'd say so, so far. Let's sign Petrus Palmu. Uh, and then Sven Berchke, we're going to bring back. Uh, for the second time this year. We'll bring him back for the rest of the year. Okay. There's up to 37 contracts. Ideally, I think I could use another goaltender as well. So let me alarm me. Might as well look to bring you in for the rest of the season as well. So now it would be Alarmy being sent down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven with juice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need to send down four people. So let's go. Send down three people. Let's send down Stud. Let him keep tearing the AHL apart. Two more people. Uh, Petrus Palmu. Go ahead and put you on waivers. And Sven Berchke. 
So that is the team now. Mikheyev, Carlson, Radulov, Janssen, Larson, Palmieri, Grianov, Patrick, Atkinson, McCann, Heedle, Boucher. Ugh. Hopefully I would have Gusev in there instead. You know, I'm not entirely sure who we could get instead now. But we still have a few days until the deadline. So maybe we'll go back and take a look at the, uh, the trade blocks. But, I mean, the whole wheeling and dealing idea of, hey, let's bring in some of the better options. It, that was a little bit hit or miss. <laughs> that was a little bit more troublesome uh, than I thought it would be. Just Canada beat the Czechs, Finland beat Russia, Sweden beat Latvia. The trade deadline is nearing, and yes, Kel McCarr managed to get hurt. I mean, we're still, of course, first in the Pacific, so... We just added Radulov, who's a top five scorer in the league right now. Alongside Denis Gurionov. This is a pretty good one-two punch. Come on, what do we got? Oh shit, it's going like right to the deadline. Stop! I didn't know you'd be going straight to the deadline. Stop it. Stop. Hammer time. Hammer time! Okay, good. Uh, Josh Archibald for Mitch Ryan Key. The U.S. beat Canada. The United States won gold at the Olympics, baby. World Junior Gold, Olympic Gold, 6-2 over Finland. Seth Jones was best defenseman. Connor Hellebuck, best goalie. Seth Jones was MVP. And it's trade deadline day. So let's take a look. Let's get the old Olympic wrap up here. The U.S. won their group. And the Czech, Norway, China didn't win a game. China got outscored. Uh, apparently they had 34 goals for negative 32 goals against. That's obviously kind of fucked. Uh, Finland actually won the group over Canada. And there was Germany, Latvia, and Sweden and Switzerland. Russia did not uh, go through the top two. So you had the U.S. get a pass, Germany beat Norway, Canada get a pass, the Czech Republic beat China 7-1, Finland gets a pass, Russia beat uh, Slovakia 7-1, and Sweden get a pass, and Latvia edged Switzerland 1-0. The U.S. then beat Germany 11-1, Canada beat the Czech Republic 10-2, Finland squeaked by Russia 5-4, and Sweden beat Latvia 3-1. The U.S. beat Canada 2-1, Finland beat Sweden 6-2. The U.S. beat Finland in the gold medal game 6-2, and Canada wins bronze, beating Sweden 10-1. The U.S. just had the counter for Canada. Everybody else got smoked by the Canadians, but the U.S. managed to sneak by, and it got them to Olympic gold. You'll love to see it. With that, one final Look at this roster. We've added Chris Letang and Mark Giordano. Whew. We've added Denis Gurionov, Kyle Palmieri, Alex Radulov, Ilya Mikheyev. Like, we have done some wheeling and dealing to get this team to a point where we might be able to win a cup in Season 1 and without giving up any of our top-notch prospects to do so. Big question. Comes down to forwards. Jake Vertanen's still on the block. We have to go for Vertanen. We have to. I don't know what that deal's gonna be. But we gotta find a way to get this deal done for Jake Vertanen. <laughs> Try to send Sven Berchke back. <laughs> To Vancouver. Let's see. Swankler, Brown, Bordlow. If I were to use Huckins and Calster. And then draft picks. A fourth, seventh. How about a fourth and a fourth? Damn. Take out Van Calster. How about a fourth, a fourth, and a sixth? So Sven Bergeke. I love him, but Cole Huckins, two-fourths and a sixth for Jake Vertanen. 
I apparently can't add that much salary to the payroll. Which makes no sense, I absolutely can. See, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm telling you, there's just some... Some weird stuff going on with that, and I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, Jeffrey. Here you go, Jeff Bezos. Let's, let's just throw in a little bit more money here, because we know this deal should go through. <laughs> like, it really should. And so it will. And so it goddamn will. I'm going to call my dad, Jeff Bezos, and make sure that this trade goes through like it should. I don't understand how it's saying I can't add that much salary. That does not make sense. Dude, that doesn't make sense. I don't understand. How the hell do you figure that I can't add that much salary to the payroll? What? Dude, I have... Four million dollars in cap space. I have four million in cap space. Even down here, I got four million in cap space. It's not letting me make the move. I don't understand. <sighs> Fuck. Come on, man. Okay, if we take out Huckins, why is this not going through? What if I add Scott Harrington, for example? Fourth, fourth. Third. <sighs> I am so confused, dude, as to why this isn't going through. Maybe so we add Huckins. Huckins, a fourth, and a seventh. Fuck it. Force trade. <laughs> it's going through. Just force trade in that shit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Done goddamn deal. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we have Jake for Tannen for what was defined as a fair trade. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. We gotta send down one dude. It's gonna be Reed Boucher. And we are good. So on the right, it's Radulov, Palmieri, Atkinson for Tannen. Larson, uh, with Carl Carlson, Larson, Patrick Heedle. Okay, okay. I think we're good. There's only, like, minor improvements we can make from here. This roster should be fine. I don't think we have to do anything more. Unless we try to swing uh, some other big deal here. We have the cap space. Maybe it's because McDonough's on the injury list. Still. Maybe that's what it is. But, I mean, worst case... I just try to send like Andreas Janssen down to activate it, so we're gonna we're gonna settle it with that. We are good to move beyond deadline day and get back into the action and see if we indeed can finish the season as the uh, top team in the Pacific in just our first attempt. Alright, so McDonough's ready for more drills, so he's not back yet, and we'll see what kind of complications we have when McDonough's back. And he's going to be back very, very soon. We keep getting the alerts about it. And there is the autosave. It takes a while. A while. To sim through a season. In this game. <laughs> it takes a while. We get the scouting update here. Uh, we still need to uh, scout Carruthers here. Aside from that, we're okay. Let's just wait for Ryan McDonough to 
officially get the word that uh, McDonough is, you know, we're going to be in a good spot. Waiting for this to go through. Waiting for this to go through. All right, there it is. So Ryan McDonough is back. We're going to send him to the active roster. Which means the active roster is now about 4,000 or 4 million over the cap. Somehow it's 4 million. I don't quite know how it's 4 million, but okay. Uh, the easy decision here, risk Andreas Janssen, who's been terrible. But somehow, I don't understand this, dude. Andreas Janssen was making three. I send him down, and it only takes a million off of the salary. That I don't understand. Unless it's just like the buried amount or whatever, but like shit, dude. Uh, let's risk Andy Andre off. Let's risk Christian Juice. I hate to say it, but uh, we gotta bury Jared McCann. You can only bury a mill. I mean, I guess, but also he should have been claimed. Fuck. What else can I possibly risk here to waivers? I gotta risk Gusev. I'm 200k over. Unless I can risk Ottinger. Okay, we made it. I don't have enough players to ice a team right now. <laughs> Let's call up Mr. Who. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I still don't know if we have enough players to ice a team. We don't. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know how many people I have to call up. I think because I sent down Gusev. Let's try to bring up Berchki. Berchki's way too expensive. Let's bring up Hutsko. Oh, Lord. Is that enough? Mm, the payroll of the crack is still. Oh, boy. Let's risk Nolan Patrick. Got no choice. Oh boy. Let's call up the stud. We've survived this situation once. Can we survive it again? I am like barely over the cap. But this game does not give a shit. I'm having to put most of our players through waivers. It's a disaster. It's a nightmare. Can I forfeit? <laughs> oh, no. Right. If I bump up... If I bump up a rumble... And I bump up... Okay, Gragnani's making too much. What about Joey Keane? He shouldn't be making that much. Not enough skaters. <laughs> this is a disaster. Still not enough players to ice a team. Are you sure? Are you sure, game, that we don't have enough players to ice a team? Let's call up Nick Badan. How do I not have enough skaters to ice a team? This is unbelievable. Oh no. Oh no. If I call up Ottinger. Nah, it doesn't matter if I call up Ottinger. Osterlay? Is that enough? How many players did I put on waivers? Lettinen? I. I. I don't. I just don't understand. If I can't play defenseman as forward, then I'm fucked. 
Beretsky's worth too much. Palmo's worth too much. Boucher's worth too much. Aha. Uh -huh. Free agent center. Excuse me, game. I need the worst possible forwards I can get. Let me sign some North Koreans really quickly. Let me just go ahead and sign some North Koreans for the rest of the year. Out of pure desperation. I'll also sign an Englishman. Who has the audacity to ask for a two-year deal. So never mind, say goodbye to your NHL dream. This guy's from Hong Kong, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Also has the audacity to ask for a two-year deal. Haskins out of Germany? Nope. Shane Michael Haskins. Well, you're not getting signed either. It's alright, Frank. You took a swing and you missed. It happens. Do the audacity of these Englishmen to ask for two-year deals. You're a professional hockey player in England. Get your shit together. They're all asking for security. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, it might be enough, though. Too many players on the active roster. just got tired of trying to deal with it. If we lose somebody I didn't want to lose, I... Pretty sure I broke it. Pretty sure I broke it. I don't know what to do. There was no reason for the logic to not allow that goddamn retainer oh, trade to go through. Good for you. And now I think we're completely fucked.
Got to risk Cam Atkinson then. Ain't this a bitch? Ain't this a bitch? Ain't this a bitch? All we tried to do was a wheel and deal a move. Weird shit was happening. Maybe, just maybe, because of McDonough being injured. But goddamn. Goddamn. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. Unless I can get this to just forfeit a game for me, I'm pretty sure I'm stuck and we're completely screwed. I don't see how we get out of this. I do not see how we get out of this. I don't even know if Do Not Disturb will work, man. I mean, it might, but... Give it a shot. I got no other options. Do Not Disturb. Next day. Yeah, Do Not Disturb won't even work, dude. It was a good attempt, but... Dude, it's literally showing a full lineup, but it says we don't have too many or enough skaters to do a full lineup. It's literally a full lineup right there. I don't understand. I do not understand. Yeah, I create more line. I've done that. I have absolutely done that, and it's uh, yeah, it's not working. Fuck. Mm hmm. Pretty sure I managed to break it. It's what I'm great at, but I'm pretty sure I managed to break the game. It's my goddamn calling card. to do. Andreas, no offense here. What did I take off? Two? Let's pay you a shitload in the back half. Money remaining is showing up as uh, negative 19 million. So that's pretty cool. 
But pretty cool, I mean, kind of fucked. Oh my god, why can't I just zero it out, please? I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh, thank fuck we made it out alive. I don't think we lost anybody to waivers. I don't think we lost anybody to waivers. I think we made it. I think we made it. We made it. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. That was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. The question is, can I get everything back to where it was and still have everything be okay? That's the question. Am I allowed to recall players and have everything be all right? Oh boy. Big time moment of truth here. Am I allowed to salvage this and we're just allowed to move forward as intended? Send huts go down. Send stud down. Palmo. Boucher. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Someone's getting a contract edited. I do not care. Nick Letty, congratulations, you're about to get fucked. Maybe not. No, fuck it, Morgan, your contract's expiring here. I edited that, and apparently I'm still... What the hell? Does it mean Riley has one year left beyond... I mean, I know that the numbers didn't line up, like, with up top. But he's not under contract next year, unless it's showing the one-year deals. I'm still over. The number at the bottom didn't change. We have managed to break the shit out of this. Is, uh, what we've done. I think maybe because of the prior salary. Ah, you know, I'm editing the outright salary. I gotta add the cap hit at the bottom. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right, guys. 
I think I've had enough of this for today. I love it, but I think I've had enough of this for the day. I think you can understand that. We've had to sign a couple of North Koreans, but this roster is set. We are ready to head towards the playoffs. It's an unbelievable team that we have here. Apparently, I don't have enough goalies to create the lineup. Even though Ottinger's here and not. Why why is why is it say Okay, we're I'm I'm just I'm just gonna go. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna go.